think you've probably just acquired the best slot supplier in the business. Well, they... In my opinion, I think we did. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. company, uh, great slots, great IP, fantastic team. Nick is marvelous. His team is great. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it was the first thing I said to the owners before we start, before I started the evolution and I was talking to the owners uh, about it and I said like, we need to join forces with Natan. So the strategy was already formed in 2015. And the first meeting I had with Nick discussing the opportunities, for example, with BTG is years away, years ago. So it's not like, it happens now because we did something else. It's a, okay, first we need to con we con need to continue to develop live, increase the gap to competition, do great gains, continue to expand that, expand live beyond what is live. Game shows, we invented game shows, we put it there, we expand what people perceive as live. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we need to expand it outside what is online gaming in general. We need to become sort of, enthusiastically entertaining and everything else for the, for the user. So we, we, we're on to that. But then we need to widen our portfolio towards slots and to, to be able to, the perpetual goal or whatever you call it, nice English words for me, but like the goal is to be number one in online casino. And then we need slots. And to do that, we, we need Natan, and Red Tiger, fantastic acquisitions, and now BTG. So tell me, um, just looking a little bit into the future of the, the sort of big, big time gaming acquisition, the, quick, the big question for a lot of people is going to be what happens when Nick Robinson leaves? I think that I, I hope that he stays forever, naturally, and, and I think that he has the intention to stay, maybe not forever because no one is staying forever, but stay for a very long time. And that is shown in the length of the earnout and also that we acquired uh, Nick uh, with part, large part of shares, which he believes in. So I think that he is honestly as thrilled about what we can do right now uh, with our, the, actually the largest supplier network in the world and what we can do with, with the type of products that we can create together. So I think that he's an, as enthusiastic as we are. So of course, I, I mean, we need to work well together and we need to find our way. And, but I think we have a good, good chance to do that. And what's the length of the earn out period? 23, 24. Right. Stretching okay. a bit into the future. Okay. Um, so, um, I mean, I guess in that time, you know, you've still got, <laughs> still got plenty of time to squeeze his knowledge out of him. Sure. <laughs> but, but I think, I, I mean, we have Todd House out there, and uh, now we have Nick Robinson, and we're building the pro product team. And my my goal is that we're going to make this creative, innovative hub of games creation inside Evolution, and where where their attraction power will be a little bit like Google in the beginning. You know, you if you want to do games and you want to release them into the greatest network in the world. But well, then you go to evolution so that you feel that this is the place to be if you want to be innovative and not just copy games from others you really come here because we're going to do some things that is for the future for the TikTok generation we're going to create something that is unique so yeah tell me a little bit about what what evolution is now like you know it's a, it's a big group but but give me your what is evolution in terms of kind of the structure really the, the, the I mean, you, you, what is evolution? I mean, there's so many things about it, but one thing that, that, that people honestly forget is that any company, however big it is, is on, on, the, on, on, on the top level, it's run by a number of five to 10 people. Mm -hmm. And then they have five to 10 people each and they have five to 10 people each. So for me, we are, we are a management team, a great management team. Everyone works like crazy, and I'm sorry to say we don't have much work-life balance. We work hard, yeah. and 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 we push that forward. And now we're we're in every time zone, more or less, of the earth, mm -hmm. expanding. We're over ten thousand people, yeah. and uh, 
building, expanding into the US, of course, and, 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 and doing geography. But the core essence is that all of us still want to build the greatest company there is. That really, we want to be the best company in the world. Mm-hmm. That is not that is not the same as saying like, oh, they, they have a they, they're going to be the greatest. We we don't, of course not. But it's an it's an inspiring thing that we want to strive towards. And I honestly, as a person, don't understand why we couldn't be that. I don't understand why anyone could. Why can't we be that? We are in gaming. That that's fine. We can change that. But we can still be the best company there is. And I think that work hard, that energy to make the company a little bit better every single day. I go to work and I need to do something a little bit better than I did yesterday. That is the core of evolution, the hunger, the energy of evolution. And no one stays forever. And then it's hard and, and there is no blame if you want to leave, but you should feel the desire to be here contribute, to move the company, to feel like, wow, I'm actually doing something, I'm part of something. Mm-hmm. This original Google feeling that was there in the beginning, mm-hmm. that's what I want evolution to be. I think that the online casino world, however, it's one of the biggest entertainment verticals on earth. Land based is still 90% mm-hmm. and 10% is online. When, when I'm old, and, and, and you're, you're still not old, but I'm almost, I do something else, then, I mean, land base will be 30%. And all of this revenue needs to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here comes the most important thing today. The presumption, the assumption that all of that revenue automatically will go to casino, online casino, online casino is wrong. We need to earn that money. We need to see to that we have the games that those people want to play because land-based will not, they will not transfer into online automatically to 100%. They will, they will, they will die. They are old. They were used to that. They looked at James Bond, they went to land-based casino. The new generation, they don't have that. They need to, they, we need to earn their, they want to go to this space instead. Mm-hmm. And when the industry and operators today copy, 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 copy each other and do the same thing all over, copy each other, do the same thing, oh, now evolution did that, copy, it's not really the right way. We need to engage in doing innovative great games to expand that market yeah 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 if you do the same 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 i do 100 slots which is copies of what we did yesterday it will work for a while but in the long run it won't yeah Does that's it... why btg is important for us nick robertson and his team is like phenomenal we are phenomenal, actually, humbly so. We're lucky as well, but we are good at inventing games. And then everyone is copying, doing the same thing all over. Copying yeah. us, copying this, copying that, copying that. Invent something. Serve the entertainment. Serve the people. I think that it's unfair that everyone just steals what you have done and created and put money to and thought to and then just makes a copy, like bluntly make a copy. I think that the people doing that should be ashamed, like China is copying or stealing music. They did that for years or whatever. I mean, online gaming should feel a bit the same and we should not do it. We should, we should be standing above that. And that makes me a bit sad, of course, and it makes me sort of irritated and, and Will that lead to lawsuits and things like that? Of course, we will defend our IP, but it's more important to continue developing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's 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 a tough one, isn't there? There's a there's a fine line between inspiration and copying, and you know, it's like lots of people are inspired by the Beatles and want to put, you know, go out and form a band. Um, yeah, but but pixel by pixel is still a copyright. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, but of it's course, it's very hard to do like uh, increase the tempo on a Beatles song and say that it's mine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Nick's um, licensing Megaways has been an interesting way of dealing with this, Brilliant. right? Brilliant. Um, I don't know. Is there, can you imagine ways of doing that in? other products, whether that's, I don't know, possible, game shows possible, or... Possible. I wouldn't rule that out. Yeah. I think that the, the, the online gaming needs to go slowly from this wild west world of illegal, illegal, whatever, to something that is entertaining and good and actually a, a solid business area. And, and in that transition, there's also like, don't steal things from each other. It's like simple as that. You don't go into your neighbor's garage and nick their bike. That, that's not a good thing. It will sort of disturb your, your neighborhood. So don't do that. It's like, it, it, your life will be easier if you don't do that. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of basic, isn't it? Don't yeah, steal, kind of. <laughs> don't, don't steal things. Like, don't, don't steal things. It's like, it's kind of basic, yeah. So uh, let's talk a little bit about geography. Um, North America is your second biggest large, largest market now. It was it was NetEnt's largest, actually, at the time of the acquisition, I think. So I think we can safely presume that it will soon be your largest market. Um, can you just sort of talk to me a little bit about your, your approach to the market now that you're a significantly bigger company? I... Uh, this is important. We work with our operators. We, we want to be a good company. We want to we want to give them products that they earn a lot of money. So I don't I, I don't want to see us like the powerhouse that starts forcing people or companies in that direction. I believe we should earn their trust. We should earn, and we are we are together with them seeing that we deliver products. Then I think that. That respect works both ways. So, well, if we do something great and we hand it to you and we don't overcharge it, we continuously give you the same price that you had before. Don't take a copy from someone and place that because you get that half a percentage cheaper. That, that message also has to be in, in both ways. But I don't see us as becoming a big company trying to force people. I believe we should earn the trust from the market and the operators and continuously deliver great products for them to earn the money on. Yeah. Regulation is starting in Philippines. So there is an opportunity for that. So there is regulation coming also in Asia. There's always talks about Japan and other. But in the, in, in the long run, regulation will come there as well. It will just take longer time for it to reach there. And, and then everyone judges Asia a little bit if you go back and, oh, it's unregulated. But then take a step back. Ten years, ten years ago, that was Europe. Yeah. So, so all of us in this line of business where I am right now were in the European market, which were a completely unregulated market where people went to Isle of Man to get a license and or Malta to, to get a license. And it was exactly the same situation. Mm -hmm. And now, if you, oh, we are so great, we are regulated, and then you judge Asia, it, it, it doesn't really make sense. So we, we are still in the regulation phase in Europe. Netherlands is coming, Germany is there. And Asia will slowly get there as well, I think. It will take a long time from now, but it will be there. But it's a huge market, 10, 20 times bigger than Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's, a, there's a lot of hypocrisy about unregulated markets and regulated <laughs> markets, isn't there? It is, actually. <laughs> yeah. If I uh, said something that is completely crazy, please help me to take it away because I'm not a crazy guy and I really believe in what we are doing yeah. and and I also want to I always do that the yeah. success of evolution is based on everyone working in evolution it's a fantastic company with great people I am humbly honored to leave this company it's like 
I'm lucky to be here. So I work hard, but everyone else does, but it's a fantastic crew. It's a fantastic team from management and down. Yeah. And we really try to be the best company, however crazy that might be. And But it's a nice goal. Yeah. Why not have that? Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. settle for less? So, yeah. That's it. <laughs>